Hi, this is Taylor Shaw, Lesson 5.1, Calculus Extended. What we want to look at is arc length. I'm not going to do the shell method because I, in my curriculum I just don't have time. But we're going to do arc length for us. Now I'm going to give a description here of how we arrive this. It's not going to be full mathematical terminology, so if you're looking for that, this isn't the place to be. But I just want to give you an idea where this comes from. Skip ahead if you just want to get to the formula down here. So what we want to do is try to find the length of an arc length from one x value to another x value. So what we can do is we can break this up into little pieces such that we have, and this has to be a smooth curve, so this f of x has to be continuous and has to be differentiable. So if I take and estimate with a solid line, so that would be the slope of the secant, average rate of change, a rock, and we're going to estimate the curve in between each one of these pieces, and then I can keep on going, depending upon which x values I do have, and these should be on the curve, my picture isn't great, but then I'm going to have p naught, p1, p2, dot dot dot, to p sub n minus 1, to p sub n. So those are the different points that I'm going to have. So to estimate this curve that I do have here in red, I want to use the distance formula for each one of these segments that I do have here. And here is the distance formula. So I'm going to take the sum of each one of these little segments. And to find the distance between those segments, I'm going to use the square root of any term minus its previous term. Now that's the i, so this would be i minus 1 quantity squared. Since I am doing this previous thing, this should start at 1 and not 0 then. So then I'm going to add what happens when I take any term and subtract off the previous term in the y's quantity squared. And then I'm going to add these all up. That's the summation. Now if you notice, this is just delta x. This is just delta y. So I can rewrite this as the summation i equal 1 to n square root of delta x sub i, because each one is, might be a different length, plus this would be delta y sub i. And those are quantity squared because of the distance formula. So if I do some algebra magic, I'm going to factor out leave this one the same, and I'm going to call this one delta y sub i over delta x sub i. Now I just can't add that in, so I have to go times delta x sub i quantity squared. And so all I did was take this term right here and then place this piece and this piece, that's just 1, so I just multiply by 1. So I can factor out this delta x now. So when I factored out this delta x sub i, I get 1 plus the change in y over change in x, and these are uh, sub i's. And then I go over here, this delta x quantity squared can come out. And so that's what I end up with. So now we want this sum. Well, what do we want to do with each one of these lengths of delta x that we have? Well, we want to make it go to zero. So we're going to let, you can either let n go to infinity or else you can let delta x go to zero. I'm going to go n to infinity of all these little segments, the number of segments that I do have. And when I do that, I end up with just an increased number of segments. And it's the same exact formula. Well, what is this when I have n going to infinity and this summation? And I got my delta x's. Yes, that's the definite integral. And uh, you can use the mean value theorem to get this to be your f prime. But in general, I'm not going to show that. But generally, then, the arc length formula just comes right from this. So the arc length formula is going to be a to b of my square root 1 plus f prime of x quantity squared 
dx. And so delta x up here is my dx here. This thing, change in y over change in x, does become my derivative when I do that limiting process. And you need the main value theorem for explanation too, but generally that's where this thing comes from. So where it comes from and the putting it to use are two totally different things. This becomes very easy. So my arc length for this example here, it says find the length of the arc when I have this curve on the interval from 0 to 2. So I want to find the length of all these little segments added up. Well, we'd use the integral, the great summing machine, to do that for us. So I'm just going from 0 to 2, and then I'm going to go 1 plus, what's my derivative? My derivative is going to be 9x squared minus 3, quantity squared, don't forget the squared, dx. That's all you need to do. So if you pop this into your calculator, you're going to get 20.633, correct, to three decimal places. That's it. So a little bit more explanation than I needed for just these examples, but that's how you find the arc length. 5.1, I eliminated some of the problems for you, but that's what you need to do. 5.2 video will be much longer. Sorry about that. Have a great day.